Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront updates and some very exciting Star Wars Battlefront 2 news coming straight from EA's investors call just a few minutes ago which confirmed a bunch of stuff that we've all been waiting for. First off they now officially said that yes it will contain a single player campaign something a lot of people requested from the first game and I'm very glad to hear about that. And secondly they also said that the game will span across multiple eras. So that probably means that at least the original trilogy and the sequel trilogy will be in the game. Still no word or hint towards the Clone Wars, but at least we know the game will have multiple eras in it. They also said that they know that people wanted more depth and this game will deliver on that point and it will also have more hero characters, more maps and all of that kind of stuff. And although that just sounds like something you say, keep in mind that something a lot of people did complain about at the launch of Star Wars Battlefront was the lack of maps, lack of heroes and of course lack of campaign. And now we will get delivered on all of those points so we will get even more content than the last game had with of course refined gameplay mechanics. During this earnings call, he also confirmed that Battlefront 2 is being made by DICE, Motive Studios and Criterion. So all three of those are working on the next game. Before this we only knew that DICE and Motive Studios were working on Battlefront and Criterion were the ones who made the VR mission. So maybe a VR mission will actually be released with the game this time and not one year later. Also something to note is that EA CEO Wilson did not call the game Battlefront 2 in the earnings call but he simply called it the next Star Wars Battlefront which is very interesting and it means that the game could potentially still have a specific title if you know what I mean like Star Wars Battlefront Wrath of the First Order or something like that but it could still be called Battlefront 2 just that they didn't want to go out officially and say that until they've actually made the official reveal for the game. In the earnings call they also said that the game will be released during holiday 2017 which isn't really a surprise as the last game was also released in that window and that could be somewhere in November or December, I'm guessing sometime before the next movie to make use of that hype of course. DICE also made a post on the official Battlefront website where they said the future of Star Wars Battlefront in 2017 and it seems like we will probably not get any more updates for this game at all. Maybe not even Hero Blast, I don't know. In this post they basically said that they have been reading our feedback and they talk about the January patch and they also say that no future skirmish content is planned. So I guess there's no point in trying to ask them anymore because now they've actually went out and said that no more skirmish content is planned. Honestly, as I've said before, skirmish to me isn't a huge deal um, but I know a lot of people wanted it so it's of course disappointing for them to not get it. I'm just hoping that the biggest problem that a lot of people say is that when this game is dead and no people play it years from now we won't be able to play any of the content because we don't have any bots to play against or we can't play against bots. But my hope for that uh, is that they will have that on the launch of the next Battlefront game and the next Battlefront game might make use of some content from this game hopefully making up for the fact that this game won't get any more skirmish content. That's all the information I've managed to scrape up right now. There's still a lot of sources coming in with new information because most people don't know about these earnings calls and I didn't know about it before it was too late so I wasn't able to listen to it myself and unfortunately they don't uh, archive them so you can't listen to them afterwards. So I took most of this information from different sources like IGN, GameSpot, Star Wars Gaming Outpost and other websites who listen to it themselves. But if any more information pops up during the next couple of hours or day I will make another video talking about that as well. Thank you very much for watching and as always may the force be with you.